Hey, hey, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today I'll be showing you how you could fix the error code 57 on Valorant where it says that the Vanguard is not initialized. So if you're just new on this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and bell notification to get updated with the latest tips and tricks on this channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So first go ahead and go to your start menu and look for a command prompt. We're going to delete the um, VGC service. So right click on your command prompt app and make sure to run it as administrator. On the command prompt, type in here SC delete VGC. And then type in again SC delete VGK. Go ahead and close this um, command prompt app and go ahead and restart your computer. And once you have restarted your computer, you could go ahead and continue on this step. Go to your uh, file explorer and uh, locate your system drive. And look for the program files. Look for the right Vanguard folder. Right click the right Vanguard folder and click the delete button. If you see this, the action can be completed because the folder or file is open. Just simply um, open up your task manager and uh, be sure that the Vanguard train notification process is closed. So go ahead and untask the process and you can now go ahead and try again. You can now close this window and then go to the apps and right click your Valorant app and be sure to run it as an administrator. It will now proceed with the installation of the right Vanguard on the HG system. So once it is done, you can go ahead and click on the play button right here. And uh, once you are able to see this Vanguard not initialized with the error code 57, just simply hit the reboot computer. Once done, you'll now be able to um, see that the game is now fixed. So if that still doesn't fix your problem, you could go ahead and go to the start menu and look for the services.msc. Open up the services app and then look for the VGC service right here. Right click the VGC service and click on properties. Under the startup type, be sure to set that one to automatic. Hit the apply button and hit the start button. If you see this kind of error right here, it's due to um, the problem that I haven't restarted my computer yet since I'm recording this tutorial right now. So if you have restarted your computer, that's um, basically it. But if still that doesn't fix, you could go ahead and try again and go to the start menu and look for MS config. Open up the system configuration app. Under the services, look for the VGC service. Once you're able to see the VGC service, be sure that this check mark right here is checked and hit the apply button and OK. And go ahead and restart your computer. And uh, hopefully that would fix your problem. So thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave your comments and feedbacks down below. And also subscribe for more helpful tips. Till then, see you again in my next video.